For nearly three years, the people living in a mobile home neighborhood in Aurora tried to stick together. Residents of Denver Meadows raised money. Their goal was to buy the land that they live on from the landlord who was looking to sell. The residents, though, couldn't raise enough money. Well, then they tried to find property where they could move to. The city couldn't find a place either. Well, now they're faced with the harsh reality that their time is almost up. They have to move by the end of March. Nine News reporter Sonia Gutierrez has been looking at their options now as the clock runs down. Mi nombre es Petra Enriquez y tengo viviendo aquí 11 años. Her name is Petra Enriquez and she's been living here for about 11 years. How has things changed around here? Como ven, ya me quedé yo sola aquí nomás. She said as you can see she's now here by herself because there's not a lot of other homes left. There was a big one right in front. There's an empty lot now. There was another one right next to it. It's empty. And the one that used to be right next to her is also empty. It's been nearly three years since the owner told tenants they had to move out because there were other plans for this property. So I'm asking her right now, what are your options as the owner of this trailer home? La única opción que tenemos aquí es de vender la trailer a bajo costo. So her, she says that her only option right now is to sell her trailer home at a very low price so she can get rid of it because by March 31st, which is the deadline that when they need to be out of here, if her trailer home is still on this property, the landlord has told them that they will charge them $1,500 just to have it here. That's out of her budget because she's the only one in her family working right now. Yo quisiera que esto llegara a la ciudad. Petra, along with the other 20 or so families left at Denver Meadows, asked the city of Aurora for $20,000 per family to help relocate. We asked Aurora City Councilwoman Cristal Murillo if that's even possible. It's a good question, um, and that's what we're trying to figure out right now. Murillo helped put together a task force to come up with solutions for people like Petra. We'll see. I mean, these, pe these are people's lives. But those solutions are looking very slim right now. So she was telling us that at one point there were about 15 people living here because this place served as a safe haven for her children who sometimes can't find a place, an affordable place to live with all of their kids. So now she's the one in a situation having to look for a place to live herself and make sure her kids have that option to go with her when they need to. For Nine News, I'm Sonia Gutierrez. The city does have a relocation fund for families who are displaced, but Murillo says that is normally around $2,500 to $5,000 per family, nowhere near what Petra needs to move the trailer. The next city council meeting will be on Monday. Everyone needs to be out of Denver Meadows eight weeks later.